Hello everybody, um, I haven't posted for a while, I've been just manic, phones breaking, everything keeps breaking <laughs> these days and I've got to get stuff fixed. Uh, what happened was, my van was in for a service with Volkswagen, um, on the service they did their extra long report, told me a big list of things that needed doing, I said thank you very much. I've got a good friend of mine who is a mechanic, he's going to do the works that I've cherry picked for him to do and um, I'm going to do a bit of filming so hopefully it can help anyone out who's quite handy with a spanner and a socket set. Um, all jokes aside, uh, it's just going to be, it's going to be informative, just you know I might be able to do a bit of a how to in this one and um, we'll soon find out, it's getting late, it's like 6 o'clock, I've got to go over to his garage, uh, we're going to get it up on the ramp, take the wheels off, replace the rear shocks and springs and the pads that they sit on and also the discs and pads on the rear, they are squeaking like mad at the minute that just come out of nowhere after Volkswagen said they needed doing I've now heard this noise so um, I want to get that done the Haldex oil needs doing I'm not going to be doing that in this video um, because we need to find out what oil we need that can be done on another video uh, but yeah keep watching and just to see where this video goes because quite frankly I don't know right now <laughs> see you all again soon Dad, do us a favour. Yeah. Just check when I go up on the other side, just where that other ram is. Yeah. Check the other side just to make sure I'm not catching the bar because the, the ramp on going up on this one. Yeah, she's alright, she's not touching. Check the back quickly. Let me check the back. Yeah, it looks alright, then it does that side. Yeah, she looks brand new, boy. Yeah, boy. I wish it'd sit that high normally. What they said, they said the rear shocks and the, I think the springs have like pretty much had it. So yeah, but the springs, there's only. I don't know if it's the springs, I think they said shocks. Shocks, yeah, but the springs, yeah. it's up to you. I mean, if they look alright, you could put, you might get away without replacing them. Yeah. It's up, you know, we'll, we'll have a look. Oh, what, the springs you won't need to replace? Yeah, because they don't, like, they only, they only carry over a place springs on is when they snap, but obviously. Yeah. It's not. You know, if they're not snapped or whatever. Did we take, did we put the wheel nuts on before them captain last time? Uh, yeah, we had to, I had to put them on last. I remember they were a nightmare, weren't they? Yeah, do you remember? I think and they that, took longer than putting the wheels on. Them blokes were Because the these, these go on like a certain way. They're like, um, you, you have to line them up. It's a bit weird. Yeah, they have like little gels or something in them, don't they, I'll say. Yeah. There you go, this is the underneath of the motor. They look horrible underneath, don't they? Yeah. What's this thing doing? Is that like a... This is just to support this, because when I drop the shock out of it... Yeah. And oh, then, I uh, see. So that's for the shocks now, yeah? Yeah, this is what we do the shocks first, I think. Yeah, so sweet. We've got to do under this one here, yeah. and then the one up the top, which is up there, I don't you can see it. And then at this side as well, there's the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Catches as well. Then we can drop the springs out. Nice. Um, Makes sense. You get a 21 mil spanner on that. 21 and a socket. And a socket the other side. So you need quite a lot of kit to do this, don't you? I mean, some people do do it at home on their drive, yeah, don't they? Fuck but. That, mate. <laughs> So Dan, basically this is the shock, yeah, the, sh that's the, the shock, absorber. Yeah. How shock do you know if that, how they know if that's gone then? Is that like it's probably a slight mist in the hall around it or was they probably wiped it off? Alright, so put a bit of pressure on them and then with this pump yeah. stand. Yeah. I'd say. And then that just pops out. Pops out. Things like dango dollars, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There we go, we've done it. But don't make that easy, do they? No, I'll tell you what is more difficult as well, is because yeah. you normally wouldn't have that dry shaft there, do you know what I mean? Yeah, don't buy a full motion. <laughs> <laughs> this she comes. This way. There we go. That's what the spring sits on, look. Yeah, they completely had it. I suppose they weren't lying when they said that. 
No, it might well. I, I was expecting to see them yeah. to say that it weren't, so obviously. So that's a new one? Let's wait to take that table. Alright, there's your new one. Yeah. So, they look a lot better, don't they? But that's the back of it. <laughs> Donald Ducks. Donald Ducks, mate. But it's quite good that Volkswagen done the service because they, what they, they do. Well, did they do service, weren't it? They did a service, but they. You know, I like to get that stamp from them. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Give you, they do do a full check as well. So they must have obviously checked all this, but you would anyway, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I would have done it. I would have checked all that anyway. The only thing I can't get from you, Dan, is a V-dub. Uh, yeah, I know. But we can, but we have to get one on eBay, don't we? Yeah. A bit of fleet, fleet bay, mate. Could we find a stamp book? No, don't do that. Well, we're going to pop the top of the shock out. And that gets... That's the bolt right up in there. Mate, that is a tool, that thing, isn't it? There we go. Right. See, the thing is though, like, if you ain't got a garage, it is you hard to do. Yeah, this. you wouldn't want to do all this shit on the floor, Dad. No, it'd be, it, it is good. If you've got a, a good right, friend who can do it, right. why not? <laughs> what we do now, yeah, beautiful. Right, right so we're going to grease it up. Grease it up. Lube us. You like a bit of lube in there? Lube in there. Right, so we're going to do the same the other side. I'm not going to record that, it's a waste of time. Right. And then we're going to what the springs but these springs do look in fact if i turn it that way they're pretty much look they're quite they're heavy juicy springs maybe there. it might lift it a little bit who knows um but look it's like a look on spanners different spanners oh nice yeah don't look and you get life one more in, like guarantee yeah, that, yeah. George, mate, right. emergency response vehicle emergency response there you mate. go for that that's our base that's what we want, one of these. What'd you get per gallon on that, Dan? <laughs> Smiles per gallon. <laughs> Smiles per gallon. Slow that Is that like a normal amount of rubbish in there? Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. Yeah, it's yeah. not a normal. <laughs> See how that's it. Nice new pad on there. Nice new pad. It's weird looking at that on a, on a smaller screen. Yeah. But these were the things that were given up, weren't they? They didn't look the too... Pads, yeah. A bit of a bad design. I know obviously it's just rubber, but they could probably have put a thicker, thicker one on. type well, of rubber on. Well, it just looks... Look how it just looks, they look. It looks flimsy, doesn't it? For like, especially for... I mean, the way that's perished... Yeah, that's what I mean, look. You get a nice and thick one. Yeah. So there's two pads per spring, basically, isn't there? Yeah, two pads I per spring. I didn't know that, so I thought there was one. So you've got your top attention, upper one. Yeah, upper, upper one. Upper and lower. So we've got a newer and lower, two a newer and lower, so. Can you remove it down? So now, look, if you come around here, Dad, that spring will sit against that butt. Yeah. And obviously, once we put the shock in it and then it's down on the floor, it, that will sit on it. Nice. Brilliant, all right. See. That's it, look, look, come up through here at the back. Yeah. You see where it's sitting against that bit of rubber? <laughs> Stick the camera right up. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Right, so, so that's spring, it that. The spring's touching so, it, yeah. yeah. that's it, so then look, it's touching this bit, so when we push back up on that, it's going to meet that it's stopper. It's going to meet that stopper. Right, yeah, cool, sweet. Sweet. that's cool. So basically, I was just saying to Dan, I ain't got a spare for my wheels, but he just told me that, obviously, he'd done a, what was it, 3,000 kilometer? Three, three and a half thousand miles. Three and a half thousand miles in Europe on a motorbike, but you didn't have any spare, did you? No, no spare, mate. But you've got to block it out, you just, you don't worry about it. Because otherwise you never end up going anywhere. Yeah, you, you won't go anywhere <laughs> if you worry about the spare wheels. No, so absolutely not. If you're going for the BF Goodridge, you just do it. Uh, mate, you can get tyre weld though, can't you? Yeah, you can get a tyre can, yeah. Yeah. But then, then there's a, the risk if you do it, like, that's like if your tyre doesn't shred or something, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Obviously, yeah. if it comes a massive hole, and obviously it's not going to work, but... No. It's, um, it's catching the but... You can just get some tyre just in case, can't you? So did your M3 not have a... Um, no, no, I had no, no spare, no, no tyre weld. No. But did you, you didn't take it to Europe though, did you? No, nah, nah, no, but I, I would have. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually saying that, I think they were probably advising the bushes, sorry, as opposed to maybe misting of oil. Mm. That these bushes were. I know it mm. don't look like it now, but when we were wiggling it... Yeah. I mean, they don't... Yeah, it's a hard one. I'll see, once we this will expand. Yeah, we'll put that on. There we go. New shock. Right, 
Nice, we get the shock on there now then. Just line that back up, it's quite straightforward, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, straightforward, mate. And what did we have? We had an 18 mil on there, Eight, wasn't it? 18 mil, yeah. 18 mil. Let's get that in there. Greased in there. And then we put the short head socket on it, didn't we? Yeah, that's a good eat. So yeah, I remember, I'm a qualified mechanic. After doing, I've done like half an hour now, so. Uh, that's it, done deal, mate. <laughs> got a job. You got a job. Did you get me a job in here, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I always start off with a ratchet just in case, yeah? Yeah, yeah, always put it in finger tight and start off with a ratchet. Yeah. You don't want to cross thread the bolt. Yeah. So as you can see, it's going in nicely now. Yeah. So we can now apply the air ratchet. Because what you probably that. get is these young boys going straight in with the air gun compressor. That's, yeah, that's it. And, and then, then threading it all. <laughs> Damage the thread and then it's game over and then you've got to start. You've got to start again. You've got to get a tap and die set. Yeah. Re-thread it all. Buy yeah. a new van for your customer. No, that is too big. That's too big. We'll put, we'll put a shorter one on there, Short see? There. Stick to me, son. You won't go wrong. Beautiful. <laughs> My far oh, away. My far away. So that's two new rear core springs fitted with two new platforms. New platforms new on pa top and bottom. They, they were proper perished and worn. Yeah, they were they? perished and worn like you yeah. saw in the last video. Yeah. Two brand new shocks fully fitted. Yeah. Yeah, both sides. Both sides all done. And now Brilliant. we're going to Now we're going to do the discs and the pads. Discs and pads. And see how that turns out. What they told me, they said the, the pads and the discs need replacing. Yeah, I'll get my torch. Need a head torch on it, Dan. <laughs> are they worn out, are they? Yeah, look. How do we know if they're worn out? All right, see that? That's, yeah. That that should be, uh, half worn's about five mil, that's probably got about two mil on it. So yeah, they get that, the inner one is worse than the back, uh, outer one, look. Right. The outer one there. So the basic, oh, I can see. I see, can... see how thick of that one yeah, is? Yeah, let me come right in. You come right in. Oh yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Let's check the other side. Not none of that. See, look, the outer one's okay if you come on this side. Yeah, outer one's all right, yeah. And then the inner one, let's have a look at the inner one. Yeah, look, the inner one's near enough on the metal, look, they're all right. Yeah, okay, that's oh, good. Yeah, then. that's good. And the disc had it as well? Uh, yeah, they're quite lipped, so we'll yeah. just do the whole lot in one end. Nice. Right, that's cool, we'll go up the end. Um, There's a hair on here as well. Dan, that certainly ain't mine, mate, because I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> ain't my hair. <laughs> I might see if I can yeah. fit it on my head while I'm here. Yeah, undo this, it holds the disc on. Yeah. What's that? Is that like a torx bit or something? Yeah, like a little scrub key. Scrub key. Holds, yeah. holds the um, disc on. Sweet. Come it on this side. Oh, so you've only got one of them on? Yeah, only one. Oh, one I see. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Makes yeah, sense. Fine. Right. Right, 12 mil on a ratchet in one of these. Suck it. There you go. Same at the top, same at the top. Oh, I should be able to do that with the air ratchet. Brilliant. Right. Can you dry that? And there. Yeah. Oh, so it just pods off like that. That pods off like that. Right. right, so that takes the caliper out of the way. Right, so look, your pad. Right, well, she's gone, isn't she? So, what we do now is we compare, look. look that's your inner one. Yeah. Look how thin that is. Yeah. That's your new one going on. Oh, wow. Yeah, no one, they ain't been changed at all, have they? They're nah. probably original, see? That looks like bare metal, doesn't it? Or is that just. Nah, that, that, that's near, that's that's thinner than that one. That's the inner one, that's the outer yeah. one. Yeah. That's cool. They need doing. The 21 mil socket on the back. socket on the big bar. Is there two of them on there or yeah, one? Two, which two. has a carry on. Yeah. The two right, of them, there we that's go. Not, that's, that. that's a carrier. That carrier that's comes your off. Pads on. Leave that in a safe place okay. on the floor. Take that back off and put it back on just to hold the disc. Yeah. And then one disc. One disc. Off she goes. 
Okay, so you need a wind back tool to wind the piston back on the caliper. Oh, okay. So that bit slots in there. Oh, to like push it back, so it, it basically to compress it back. Yeah, to take that piston back, you need a wind back tool. Wind back tool, and then you can slide your pad in, right? That's it. Yeah. Because if you try and fit that with that, it won't fit. So yeah, it won't go in. It is, yeah. So is that the, is that a pad on there now? No, nah, this oh, is, no, that's just a this is just a wind back tool to get the piston back in the caliper. Yeah. You tighten that up. Now what you do now, lad? Right? You go pushing that. Push that back. So that that pad goes against there to yeah. keep the pressure of pushing that back. Get it right back, so then you can obviously slide. I should really do it lower, really, so it's a bit easier, but it is going back, so yeah. it's just good. Brand new set of discs. Dinner plates. Dinner plates. Same size, aren't they? Yeah, brilliant. Nice. I'd stick the disc on. Just wire brushing this up to clear that all the shit out of there. Nice. Pads it nicely in there then. Pop of grease there, stick a bit on there and a bowl. Pop of grease. Uh, I say that goes in there like, and then do this one. Oh, Get that back on there nice and tight. Right, alright, <clears throat> that's tight. That tight and I've done that tight, so that's the disc going to carry on. Right, right. Right, so it's all on, so now what we're going to do, slot the pads in? Or you're going to put some cob slip on the ears of the pads. Um, <laughs> what does that do then, that stuff? <laughs> St stops it from squeaking, stick some on the ears like that. that. Nice. Like that, stops that from squeaking, stick that there. There, bit in there like that. Right, there we go. Right, stick that one in there. <laughs> stick that in there. Like that, look. Good. Brilliant. Alright, just got to do the other one. Oh, it's symmetrical then, both of them. What do you mean? Are they like the same pad, like both sides? Yeah, um. They're not sided or anything. Mm. Like they can just yeah, so they're mm. both exactly the same. Get this in here like that, Dan. Get yeah. that. So that, that no, both pads are in there. That nice. So they slot back in. They slot back in like that. Brilliant. No sensor. Yeah. That screws the light in this one. That just goes on. It goes over there like that. And then we'll put the two bolts back through, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. There we go like that. Nice. Right, I think the piston tool is quite handy. Yeah. yeah. You, you need. You can't do it without it. No. I've, se I've seen can. people do it with like screwdrivers, but, you can, but, but yeah, it's not it's good. Get the right tools for the right job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bit of copper slip around the hub. Oh, yeah. Make sure it slides on easy. Slides that on there, nice so and easy. Right. Too much, right, that's cool. And then what, the wheel's ready to go back on now, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Right, so that's the discs and pads uh, on, on this side. We're going to do the other side now, but I ain't going to show you that bit, it's just pointless. Um, that's the procedure that we're same, using. Same, same, same side. It's exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly the same procedure. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a video. Well, I'll carry on the video with once we put the wheels back on. Right, a little recap. Disc on. Disc on. That rub screw's tight, so discs on. Carrier's tight with the two 21 mils, tight and tight. Pads are in. Calipers wound back. Two 12 mils are tight. So that's discs, pads, carrier, caliper, all tight and ready for the wheels to go back on. Right, wheels going back on now. Done and dusty. Both discs and pads are... This and, this and pads. This pads. Shock all the shocks are spring. Gonna put these wheels back on. I know what we're gonna do, we're gonna lower it, give it a road test. Hopefully the wheels don't come flying off down the road <laughs> when we're done. But uh, if you don't see any more updates on this video, you know what's happening. Right, we've done loads of hours in here now um, that's enough for today so i'm going to leave that video here 
I've shown you how I've replaced the, well, not so much me, Dan's done most of it, all of it actually. Uh, how we've done the brakes on the rear, the pads on the rear, and also the springs and shocks. Uh, my van is a T32, T5.1, four motion. That makes a bit of a difference being that it's four motion and that it's a T32. Uh, just bear that in mind, but that's it for today. See you all again soon.